Your immune system is supposed to protect you. But what happens when it turns against your own muscles? For thousands of people, this isn't hypothetical. It's daily reality with inflammatory myopathy. Most people think muscle diseases attack both sides of the body the same way. But inflammatory myopathies break this rule. You might struggle to lift your right arm overhead, while your left works just fine. Your thighs could be weak, but your calves stay strong. This patchy uneven weakness? It's actually a big diagnostic clue. So what's really happening inside your body? In inflammatory myopathies like polymyositis and dermatomyositis, your immune system creates special antibodies. Except instead of fighting off germs, they attack your muscle fibers. But here's the catch. These antibodies don't spread out evenly. They target muscles based on blood flow, how much you use them, and some factors we're still figuring out. Dermatomyositis throws in a skin twist, distinctive rashes that can show up on just one side. The classic shawl sign rash might look darker on one shoulder. Gotrin's papules, those little bumps, could show up more on one hand than the other. Even the inflammation itself seems to pick favorites. Pay attention to more than just weakness. Muscle pain that's worse after rest, not after exercise, is a red flag. Trouble swallowing, changes in your voice, or feeling short of breath. That means the inflammation could be spreading to other muscles. And remember, the weakness often hits the muscles closest to your body, like your shoulders and hips, more than your hands or feet. But here's the hope. Inflammatory myopathies respond to immunosuppressive treatment. Steroids, methotrexate, and even newer treatments can help stop your immune system's attack. Many people see major improvements, and that uneven weakness often evens out as the inflammation calms down. So, if you've got muscle weakness that doesn't make sense, especially with skin changes or trouble swallowing, don't wait. Inflammatory myopathies are most treatable when caught early. Blood tests and muscle biopsies can help unlock answers. Early intervention makes all the difference.